Hi everyone, Drini here and welcome to my channel. So we're going to do a quick update on the Bitcoin charts today because as you know, after nine dreadful weeks where we just went on a downtrend nonstop, we are finally showing signs of a relief rally. So let's dive into the charts just to see what's going on and what our outlook is moving forward. So what I have here is I have the chart of Bitcoin on a daily time frame, And as you can see, finally, after just a continuous downtrend right here, we have finally shown some life and had a green candle that blasted out of here and went above the 21 EMA right here. So looking at Bitcoin's recent price action, what we can see is the formation of a descending triangle. Now, typically descending triangles are bearish structures, but they can also break to the upside. In this case, this particular green candle right here, this monstrous green candle that happened yesterday is a breakout of this particular structure in which we have two technical targets. So the first technical target is this one, the smaller triangle right here. So when we overlay it to the breakout, we are on our way to a price target of around 32,601. There's also a larger technical target when we use this wick right here, the beginning of the structure, basically. So when we overlay this to the same breakout pattern, then you have another target of 33,344. Either way, it's a small structure and the technical target hasn't really been met yet. So just take note of that for now. So what's most likely going to happen here is we may experience some, a bit of a sideways action right here over the next couple of days, assuming that Bitcoin doesn't do much, but eventually reach our technical target. And from there, most likely correct a little bit more while waiting for the 21 EMA to catch up like this. There's also a larger pattern forming. So apart from this particular structure right here, in which case we broke out and we have our technical targets right here, respectively, we're also forming a BART pattern. So if in case that we don't slow down from here, that we are able to blast out of this particular range into the upside, then we have another technical target, which is this structure over here. This is the beginning of the BART pattern. For those of you who are not aware, a BART pattern pretty much looks like BART Simpson, hence the name. So you have sharp downsides like this, sideways consolidation like BART's hair before the continuation to the upside via violent green candles that will quickly go to the technical targets, mostly before continuation. However, when it comes to overall macro levels, we are definitely still far, far away from calling this particular rally bullish. When we look at Bitcoin on a weekly time frame, the technical target of the BART pattern will bring us to around 39,790. If we get to that price level, then we will be above the 21 EMA right here and we will be in the middle of our bullish structure. But until that happens, it is still very much possible that this could be a temporary relief rally before we eventually get rejected. Either through the 21 EMA, the 55 EMA, we can also be rejected over the 200 day EMA eventually before our subsequent move to the downside. From an Elliott Wave perspective, what's most likely also happening here is this particular rally right here will last for maybe two, three weeks, for example, but it is part of a much larger downward trend where this is wave one, this is wave two right here, this is the wave three. We will most likely have a wave four somewhere. This rally right here would signify a wave four destination, whether we get rejected on the 21 EMA or other metrics. Most likely there will be a wave 4 right here before the subsequent wave 5 destination, which most likely, if we continue the bearish downtrend, will coincide with us hitting or wicking below this 200 weekly EMA. The thing to know about the 200 weekly EMA though is I know we are all expecting that price will eventually land here. It may, but it may come at a point where if we are having relief rallies, for example, and if we are crabbing and we get rejected and we slowly descend once again like this, then what's most likely happening is the 200 MA will continue to catch up like that, become much, much higher. So the longer it takes for us to really capitulate, the higher the targets will be. So when we get to that kind of situation, then we will monitor where the 200 MA will be or the 300 MA will be. But until then, just take note that be very, very careful with relief rallies like this. Because in bear markets of the past, we do have significant rallies to the upside every now and then. But it's just we get rejected, rally rejected, and then eventually we just give up and eventually capitulate. We are still pretty much in a bearish downtrend. So just take that into consideration. Don't try to YOLO everything in this particular period just because you saw a green candle. This particular rally, for example, was pretty significant. This one was close to 50%. So don't be surprised if we actually have strong rallies to the upside 
this one would be a 32% increase, for example, or if this local bottom is taken into consideration, and then we will experience 50% upside, for example, before getting rejected and eventually just moving back to the bottoming structure of the 200 and the 300 MA, where during a bear market, we really historically go to to establish support for the next wave up. So where does it leave us when it comes to our altcoins? Where, where does it leave us when it comes to our gaming cryptos? This is still pretty much a risk-off environment. Don't try to ape into gaming cryptos at the moment. Over the next couple of weeks, we will try to explore some of the popular gaming cryptos that we cover just to see where could we potentially go on downside targets. But until then, this is a welcome sight to see, but we have more work to do really to establish bullish continuation. Apart from Bitcoin, other things to watch out for would be the S&P. So when we look at the S&P, so when we look at the S&P on a weekly time frame, as you can see right here, we are on the verge of a weekly death cross right here. So once the death cross happens, as you can see right here, we appear to keep going lower. So the relief rally for Bitcoin and crypto, even the stock markets, appears to be once again a five wave Elliott wave structure that will go down somewhere like this. Very similar to Bitcoin's price action. The Nasdaq as well is very similar when it comes to its formations. So just take this into consideration. If you want real confirmation that we are good to go, where it's really safe to invest on altcoins and we are in a risk environment, risk on environment, then pay attention to the stock markets. If they are back above our weekly EMA structures, then we do have more confidence here that the markets really are more confident once again. And we can go back to our altcoin and gaming crypto investments. Yo, 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 before you go, like this video, subscribe, and share this video to your friends. Thank you very much and have a good day.